Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to F1 Manager 2024 and another part of our preview playthrough with GB F1 Mercedes. Thank you very much for your support on yesterday's first video. Really do appreciate all of the comments, all of that. Um, just for your information, I know lots of people are new around here. Um, I have played this game before and I, I know that some of the decisions that I was making what wasn't the best and, and that is exactly because it is a preview version of the game. I wanted everything to be on the hard settings. Obviously development and things like that won't really play a part because I can only play three races so I'm not really putting much thought into the development. Um, I'm just sort of shoving a load of resources uh, behind certain bits um somebody was talking about you don't want to add extra weight onto your car i know that uh the reason i did that was to sort of role play the 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 aspect of trying to make our parts last a little bit longer so that we don't have to pay for more um <laughs> there was just some quite funny comments in the uh, in uh, episode one saying oh you need to do this you're awful at this game this that and the other Yes, it was an awful showing last time. It was really just trying to show you some of the new features, trying to show you some of the gameplay. Today, we're going to take our time a little bit more um, and we're, we're, we're going to try and delve a little bit deeper. There are a few things that I've uh, found as well um, where I, I didn't necessarily spot them in the, in the first episode. That was my very first experience with the game. You know, I didn't rehearse anything. I just jumped straight into it, as I always do with uh, new releases and and sort of have the same experience hopefully as you guys when you're going in and uh and and you know we we try and find uh find some things but as soon as i pressed uh, stop record last time i thought there must be a little section where we do our team colors and there is it's up here i didn't spot it at the time um but i think this is where our team colours uh, in terms of our pit crew and all of that will will come in. We'll have a look at some of the other liveries. We'll try and have a different livery for each of the uh, the three Grand Prix. But we are going to go for our uh, sort of red, white and blue um, team colours to keep with the GBF1 Mercedes um sort of idea i mean it looks like france doesn't it <laughs> it looks like france uh yeah so so there's all of our uh, team colors now so that should hopefully sort out what our our team colors end up being now in terms of our uh presets we you know we can look at all of these now uh we're going to take a, a little bit of time just to see if we can do a better livery than than what we've done that's that's kind of what we've gone for now isn't it uh that one's quite nice whoop there we go yeah that, that one does look very very good doesn't it very premium and then you've got the sort of got a yellow yellowish one there yeah kind of looks like the old williams one that one i think got some green ones in there orange uh, these ones are made by F1 Manager, so that that sort of looks like a BMW old old style one. Um, yeah, not sure about that one. Not sure. Is that uh, the old '92 Jordan? Is that what that's uh, inspired by? It's very difficult without the team branding on there, isn't it? Is that an old Honda one, maybe? But yeah, some really nice. Nice liveries in there. That looks like uh, HRT, surely. HRT 2010. But that's really quite nice. And then, you know, some other concept ones. you sort of got the 2008 Renault-looking type thing there. But these are all the different presets that you can, that you can pick from. And I assume you'll be able to download more from the Steam Workshop as well. And yeah, some people will say, oh, 15 FPS, whatever. I, as I explained, you know, my computer doesn't handle these games particularly well anymore. Um, it is four years old, old now. Um, it was an absolute beast when I first got it. But uh, game 
games have gone on a, a lot uh, since then. And, and I will be playing uh, the full release on PS5 when that does come out. Uh, later down the line, 23rd of July. Um, I tend to get it a little bit earlier, so do let me know what sort of things you want to see. Some people have already been suggesting um, a Braun GP career mode. That, that would be quite cool. Um, but do let me know if you like the idea of this sort of GBF1. Um, trying to do, you know, a, a real sort of national team playthrough. That might be quite cool. Trying to get British drivers here in the future. Obviously, you know, started out with uh, Nico Hulkenberg and... Uh, oh, there's a Twitch one there. There you go. Um, that's Work the Space. Uh, you might know a football manager, YouTuber, who uh, who does some F1 manager content as well. There you go. There's no Captain Goodspeed ones in there. I'm assuming that's Arava. Um, P1 podcast, I guess. And then I'd, I'd, I don't know who, uh, who that is. Is that Yana Watmia? Is it? I'm trying to spot. It looks like it. Um, so these are the sort of content creator ones. Yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, and Tim McMardock. That's quite a cool one. I like the the Tim McMardock one. Um, but yeah, no, those are the, uh, the the different liveries that you can get. Uh, there's some premium ones in there. You know that that certain editions of the game you will unlock. Um, I quite like this one, this sort of gradient aspect. So I would like to, to edit this one if I possibly can. Um, annoyingly. It looks like the... Why can't I edit that? Is there, is there no way to edit these? I mean, maybe I can I just... Ah, there you go. Now I go on to edit. Okay. So if I go into colours. And now I can sort of change this to sort of blue into red. That might be quite nice. To a bit more like that. Maybe that blue needs to be a bit darker. And then some of the other colours we can have as uh, white. That sort of black bit we can have as white. Um, Go for matte. Yeah, that looks quite nice. I do. I do very much like uh, the look of that car. It's whether it's whether we need to to go for sort of red at the front. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's have a little little think about that. I'm trying to keep the car sort of above my ugly mug so that you can see it. Um, let's let's switch that round then. All red there, and blue there. It's the it's the sort of purpleness I don't really like. What different gradients can you go for? You can go for a vertical gradient or radial gradient. Ooh, oh the radial's quite good. That, that's really nice, actually. Yeah. What What if we were to go for white on that bit? And then the white bit you can have as red. That's quite nice as well. 
You know what? I might go for that. I think the blue needs to be a bit darker. We can sort that, but there you go. That is our new livery for this Grand Prix. I think that's really nice. <laughs> I don't know what you guys at home think, but that is... That's pretty awesome. Right, and now we can get the, the, the decals on there. It looks like that's uh, been fixed in an update. Um, because we basically had a car when we we couldn't have any of that, and that, you know, I mean, you can move the move the, uh, the the sponsors and everything on on this. It's it's really quite cool, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of them are, are not really white on there, so we'll probably just need to change the colour. All the way to black. For a lot of it. There we go. Got the Kangdo colour. Like that, yep, yeah, perfect. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's already black. And uh, that's yellow at the moment. Should we make that blue? Yep. Yeah. Can do. Uh huh. I can see it there. There you go. Could probably do with moving that a little bit, but. It'll do for now. How's the rear wing looking? Rear wing's looking fine. Front wing's looking fine. Yeah, I think all of that looks great. Right. Back. Apply changes and save design. Put that there. Perfect. Okay, Brill. Right, so there's our car design done. Let's see if we can do some uh, different presets on the the driver suits. It'd be quite nice to have a sort of red, white and blue. I mean, that one's quite nice, isn't it? That would sort of suit. Yeah, I quite like that one. Let's go for that. That's perfect. And we can edit that. Um, just to make the, I mean, the helmet colour. You know what, I think I want sort of a... A sort of luminous green into yellow. Yeah, I like that. There's our helmet colour. And we can save the design. Perfect. Okay, back. Um, and the logo, I, I think the logo is pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So a little bit of livery edit in there at the start. A uh, quick look at the car parts development. You can see we've got some that will uh, hopefully be available for race three. Um, and yeah, as a... As I say, lots of people were upset about that <laughs> in the last episode. That's really not what I'm, not what I'm here for. Um, you know, we're we're just we're just you know trying to see some of the new features, uh, in particular, you know, the car design, and and just see how hard would it be if you didn't do anything. You know, we've got the worst staff. We've got. Um, a rookie driver in there you know there's no point doing any scouting or anything like that um, because we won't we won't get on to uh, on to that uh, but let's let's do some facility upgrades I think wind tunnel is probably the thing that you want to get done first um, and your design center as well because you want to get those upgrades in 
and you want to be in a in a positive position for all of that so let's uh move to our training schedule now this obviously was a screen that i wasn't very good at using last year and um, we did win two of our four pit stop championships with williams last year so we were able to turn it around um however i i always had crews that were exhausted now i think at the start you probably want to be going for pit stop time in particular focusing on the tires but making sure that after a couple of months you are giving them a little bit more time um we're gonna reduce that to rest before the weekend so that at the weekend they've got a pretty low chance of making a mistake i think that looks good so let's uh, confirm that for the month let's head back and let's continue to the race weekend there we go technical chief goes up that's what we like to see so the atr starts today good to know probably not going to get to use that oops what happened there I don't, I don't know why it, it's continued on i think i clicked too many times right um we are going to go for 21st or higher for nico hulkenberg and 21st or higher for ollie behrman we're here in jeddah where the tension is boiling as we head into the saudi arabian grand prix we're on the shores of the Red Sea in the shade of Jeddah skyscrapers. This might be a dream setting, but as we know, in Formula One, not all dreams come true. It was Charles Leclerc who tasted victory in the last race, but he will surely be looking to find the recipe for success again and achieve another podium place. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. So yeah, it seems to be the cutscenes in particular that it doesn't like. I think once we actually got into the um, the race, it was it wasn't too bad. So um, yeah, let's uh, continue on. Uh, in terms of first practice, I mean, we could swap uh, swap this with one of our um, affiliates. Can we do that with both drivers? I think we can actually. So <laughs> that's quite cool. I would like to see what would happen um, with, with that. Uh, we are going to to simulate practice again today because I want to get into that race. I want to see if we can do a little bit better with the strategy today. And then next time we'll sort of focus on setup a little bit more and see really what, what effects uh, doing well in this new game. So we're going to simulate uh, first practice. Let's see where they ended up. I mean, they're, they're going to be miles off, surely. Let's have a little look. Yeah, 21st and 22nd and uh, a, a long, long way off the pace. 27% um, on the setup. We will try and uh, sort it out a little bit. Um, yeah, so we want to... What do we want to do? I mean, this is this is going to be quite a tricky setup. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Yeah, it's quite extreme. Might have to be something like that for Nico. Folly Behrman. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Right, uh, let's oops, simulate the session here. See where they end up. It's annoying how it doesn't... Oh, it, well, it does this time. It's come up straight away. Data will... Yeah, why is it not telling me session two what they got? Hang on, why why is this setup all of a sudden really bad?
think it's going to have to be that. But yeah, I'm really annoyed because um, I've just spent ages trying to get all these sliders in a, a good position and then they, uh, the team just went against me anyway. Right, that looks a bit better. Um, okay, let's uh, simulate this final session. And then we can we can look at what the, the the times were for all three practice sessions. Well, here we go, heading into qualifying. Hello and welcome to the much anticipated qualifying session. Jeddah's high speed street circuit is rather prone to yellow and red flag during qualifying, as drivers and walls often meet. Strategists will be looking for the perfect gap, but need to make sure drivers get their lap in. Now there's been a bit of talk about Sergio Perez of late. How's he going to be feeling, do you think? They were looking pretty sharp in practice and setting good lap times, so they're probably feeling fairly confident now, but a good practice time doesn't always guarantee a strong qualifying outcome. And it's almost time for qualifying. You won't want to miss that. Okay, Brill, right. Let's uh, get ourselves into qualifying then. Um, and... Oh, oh. Well, look at the look at the state of this setup. What on earth are they doing? I'm wondering if this is because we've got bad staff. I mean, you know, I I, I know fine well people are uh, are going to be in the comment section saying, ah, oh, you need to do practice yourself if you want a good setup. That was not the case in F1 Manager 2023. You know, you could you could set a, a, a preset, and when you were when you were simulating through the sessions, you know, I, I virtually ended up with 95% every single Grand Prix. So don't even bother trying to tell me that, that you have to, you have to um, take part in practice for it to, to work out for you. Um, that looks okay for Nico Hulkenberg. It's just a shame. That his uh, confidence levels are going to be well down. Right. Okay, that's probably the best we're going to manage for Oli Payment. So let's get ourselves into qualifying and see how we get on. I'm hoping this lag situation improves as we get into qualifying. It certainly did last time. Okay, right, so Nico Hulkenberg, send him out there. And he is off in our brand new looking GBF1 Mercedes. Radio check. I hear you. And he is off on his way. Yeah, it's looking uh, looking reasonably laggy, so I might, between qualifying and the race, just uh, restart the game. But we'll we'll see how he gets on. Uh, let's send a Bearman out as well. And let's see what we can do in terms of. Lap time. So Nico Hulkenberg is getting us off and running. And will he be able to, to put in any sort of decent time here? You know, he is going to struggle to get any more than... than 20th you would imagine he, he can probably get past Mayata. Um you know hopefully the car will be a little bit better than it was in Bahrain we've set up the car a little bit differently for a decent uh, practice session I like the look of that car though that looks good better than than last time I think looks good on track Yeah, we'll see what uh, what Hulkenberg can can pull off here. And there's 
so Behrman getting on he's uh, just coming around the first sector now and here we go then with uh, Nico Hulkenberg he is going to come up to the line what's he going to pull off it's a 129.9 I think just off the back of Zhou Guan Yu that's not too bad you know we'll certainly settle for that right uh, Behrman coming through the middle sector coming around the final corner now and here comes Ollie Behrman is he going to be able to head up to the line close to Nico oh no he can't wow he's uh, more than a second off Nico Hulkenberg with that time right we're going to send uh, Nico Hulkenberg straight back out there on a brand new set of boots Okay, we're coming now to the bin. It's just going to head out there straight away. So we need to try and maximise our session. Okay, so keep an eye on uh, Nico Hulkenberg here. love it if we had a bit of a tour here so for our final run I think we need to send him right out behind uh, Ollie Behrman through this uh, first sector looks like he's attacking it quite nicely and let's see then as he comes through it's going to be an improvement now and this is what we found in in Bahrain that our first lap was our quickest lap unfortunately has gone a little bit slower than Nico Hulkenberg though that's uh, good news for us we're in the middle sector come on well behrman has gone quick in sector one that's good but Hulkenberg not improving at the moment so let's uh, switch our attention to Oliver Behrman He's, uh, what he's going to do through the middle sector is it going to be better through the middle sector for Oli Behrman it is so yeah Hulkenberg over the line no improvement improved in the final sector but really it's up to Oli Behrman to, to try and get close to that he, he won't you know we know how this game works Oli Behrman now heading up to the line it is going to be a better time it's going to be in the one minute 30 so it's a 130.4 much better but still seven tenths of a second off his teammate Nico Hulkenberg there is an opportunity there Copy. for us if we send them out there at the right time towards the end of the session then we could cook it a, a nice tour so I'm gonna send uh, Ollie Behrman out now oh no well that's a shame Nico's gonna be behind that Aston Martin Oh, no, it's a, it's a Mercedes, actually, and I don't think he'll be able to stay close enough to George Russell to really benefit from the tour, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Russell is uh, P8 at the moment, so he's probably only about a second quicker than us. Let's 
Let's see how it goes. I don't think Hulkenberg's going to improve in this first sector, unfortunately. I bet you Behrman does. Because Behrman has a bit of a tour. No, not quite. Uh, who, who was quicker in that first sector? Uh, Behrman was by three tenths of a second. So, yeah, Hulkenberg not going to improve, unfortunately. We are going to be 21st and 22nd on the grid. Just didn't quite maximise our qualifying, unfortunately. Behrman quicker in that middle sector than he was last time. But I just don't think he's going to be able to pull out enough time here to challenge the likes of Kevin Magnussen, he's coming around the final corner. It looks decent. But is it going to be enough as he comes across the line? No, it's not even an improvement on his previous lap. And here comes Hulkenberg. It's about three seconds off the pace. Not good. Not good. So that is us out of qualifying session one. Um, yeah, that that wasn't that wasn't very good in qualifying, um, and we're going to have to seriously think about how we how we do in the race, or it could be a bit of an embarrassment. Okay, right. Let's uh, see what we have got in store for race day then. Uh, well, uh, they're suggesting a one-stopper with uh, Nico. I think we found last time that the AI were better with uh, sort of more stops. So... It's not having any sort of estimated race time on there. Oh, no, it is, actually. It's uh, at the top, so... Yeah, those one... I mean, one-stop is looking particularly slow. Um, but a one stop actually with hard tyres looks just as quick as that. Let's let's see if we can maybe go a bit more aggressive in the the middle stint. You know what? I I might even try a three stopper with Nico here. Do we have enough mediums? Um, now let's see what we can do here so that's, we're going to pull that one back pull that one back as well yeah I mean they're saying that's 4 seconds slower I think I disagree. Let's, um, what we can do is extend that one out a bit. Yeah, that one aggressive as well towards the end. Well, we'll give it a go. It's, it's, it's not going to work, but, um, we'll try that with, uh, Nico Hulkenberg. Maybe give Oli Baim in the, the, the one stop strategy. Um, yeah. But actually, you want to come onto those hard tyres a little bit sooner, don't you? And what you could do is add in a, another soft tyres run right at the end of the race. Being uber aggressive. Yeah, I think that looks that looks decent. So we're going to go for that with uh, Ollie Behrman. A little bit different, you know. We we know that we're not uh, we're not going to be fast around here, so we've got to try and we got to try and do something uh, a little bit different to what everybody else tries. So let's get ourselves into the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Well then, and see how we get on. Long until we get started here and we should be in for a tightly contested race. A lot of people will be keen to see just how Joe Guan Yu will fare today. 
It's a P17 grid start for them in this race, but maybe they can get through the pack cleanly and move up the field. And it looks like we're good to go. So here we go then. We are ready for the lights here it's in Jeddah. Can Saudi we Arabian finish above 21st break. today? And it's lights out. Lights out. So away we go. we go. Good start off the grid for Max Verstappen. We'll keep an eye on what the leaders are doing as they head into turn one. The two Ferraris side by side. No contact between them Piastri up to P4 Perez then fifth then Hamilton in sixth fighting with that Lando Norris side by side as they head through that first sector Norris now ahead uh, Ricardo is P8 followed by Alonso P9 then Russell in P10 good news is Nico Hulkenberg has managed to get past Miata and uh, no Kevin Magnussen in the first corner now we are going to be very aggressive with nico hulkenberg we need to pass. and we can do the same with uh, oliver behrman and see how he gets on now if we head on board with uh, nico hulkenberg we can try and follow them through this section and looking at the tyre selections everybody has gone soft tyres so far but Nico look at this he is gaining and gaining and gaining on Mayada here and if we can get past him try and stay with Esteban Ocon we know that our ultimate pace is maybe just a, a tenth or so off these guys so if we can keep that consistent throughout the race then maybe particularly with uh, Nico Hulkenberg we can do something special so and uh, we are going to move Ollie Behrman back down to standard. Yeah, And try and hold on to his uh, ERS deployment as well. He's going to have to be a little less aggressive than Nico Hulkenberg in this race. So, staying on board with uh, the German throughout these first few laps. If he can get himself into this DRS train, that would be that'd be amazing. We can see we are very much closing up through certain corners here. His confidence is uh, getting getting quite good, and therefore you're going to pull out the best possible lap times there. By doing that we've still got that little like no idea why it's happening in this episode and not uh, not in the first episode but hey it is what it is uh, we will have beautiful smooth ps5 gameplay when the full game comes out and it will look a lot nicer as well um, but at the moment we are plowing on with the steam version of the game and uh, well DRS keeping us within touch of uh, Miata and I think Miata has fallen out of DRS range perhaps of Esteban Ocon I'm gonna just move that down to neutral now so I'll pop that into push mode because I think we can make it past Miata here at these early stages we well, had a little look down the outside there didn't uh, didn't quite go to plan as uh, Daniel Ricciardo has passed at Lewis Hamilton now for P7 but it's Charles Leclerc that leads this race ahead of Verstappen then Piastri and then Sainz is in fourth ahead of Perez and Norris Ricciardo seventh Hamilton eighth with uh, Alonso ninth and Russell in P10 you've then got Sonoda Stroll Albon Gasly Bottas Joe Guan Yu Sergeant Ocon Miata uh, and then Hulkenberg, Magnussen and Oli Behrman is at the back. But Oli is uh, playing the long game today. He is going to go through the pits uh, one last time. Um, weirdly, it hasn't updated the strategy. I must have clicked it on the uh, strategy screen annoyingly. I wonder if, uh, if we can change it here. Yes, we can. We can change it to that, that medium tyre strategy. 
that, that uh, hard tire strategy. I think that is going to be the quicker way to go. So keep an eye on uh, for lap 16 is when we want to be bringing in Oli Behrman. Now, Nico Hulkenberg is staying nice and close to Miata. Now, we are going to try and harvest the battery a little bit here. Good. We've uh, harvested a little bit there, and then we want to go full on overtake. Once we pass him, but I think we've made a mistake there. We've actually not been able to stay with him because we we harvested. We've lost so much time, and now we're going to be under pressure from Kevin Magnus, and that is a, a real shame. Right, let's uh, deploy what we what we harvested then to try and get back close to him. Well, there's Kevin Magnuson round the outside. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? He just sort of appeared from nowhere. DRS and ERS. He's going to fly down the inside. Excellent move from Nico Hulkenberg. And make sure that he stays in front. We haven't got DRS here, unfortunately. But there is battling going on up ahead, which might allow us to catch back up. And, well, there's Kevin Magnussen through with DRS. And he is staying with the, the DRS train at the moment, which is is good but yeah we made a mistake there harveston we would have stayed ahead and there goes magnuson now round the inside of his teammate he is through so now it's really important that we stay with Miata. we need to be within a second of him otherwise we're going to struggle what the Everything is good. Okay, right. So, I think Nico Hulkenberg is okay at the moment. Now, we know that we are going to end up being lapped at some point, so. We should be able to be a bit more aggressive on the, the fuel usage. Yeah, we've dropped out of that one second window now, and that's really frustrating. Let's have a look at tyres, yep. They're using tyres a hell of a lot more, so we're going to we're gonna now go aggressive with uh, Nico Hulkenberg. We need to cross the gap. And I, I don't think that's a, that's the strategy we went for with Nico Hulkenberg, did we? We were going this strategy here, so... Yeah, it's all... Um, it didn't sort of confirm that going through so that might be a little bug that that certainly will be um fixed for release here unless i just didn't click it in which case i'm an idiot but yeah what's going on with uh, pierre gaza he's got a mechanical fault let's have a little look at this well yeah right it, it certainly looks like they've developed a fault okay is definitely losing time here. So tires might just try and get them back down to temperature. Yeah, we're not we're not far away from that little gaggle of cars, are we? Yeah, it won't be long until uh, Hulkenberg comes into the pits and try and perhaps get that undercut. There we go now. Sort of improving lap times. 
the tires off a little bit. So the tires are not looking as good. That's okay. We're going to be aggressive now. We need to push maximum. Yeah, copy. We'll see. Can we get? Oh, there's uh, safety car. Well, I think this is going to be a red flag. It's uh, Miata. Along the straights here. Retomo Miata. And that's the moment. Went into the, the wall. Into the wall. And, and he is going to be out. Yep, yeah, and there it is. Red flag. Then. Okay. So, a bit annoying. Uh, so it means we have to start again with all of the, the strategy. But yes, uh, here we go. Just looking again. Just went straight into the wall and lucky not to take his uh, teammate out as well. Now. Um, yeah, I think uh, move straight onto the medium tyres then. And then for Ollie Behrman, let's get him onto the hards now. We'll maybe go mediums for our last, our last stint. A sense of deja vu here as the drivers once again face the countdown. But we are ready to rock and roll, and it's lights out. Away we go. Here in Saudi Arabia once again. Right, let's keep an eye on Nico Hulkenberg this time. Is he going to be able to make that move? I don't think so, but we will deploy ERS. Yeah. Uh, we've got plenty of fuel in the bank. Copy. So let's make sure that we push yeah, copy. straight away here. Copy. Hulkenberg's got uh, two sets of soft tyres to use later on. This will keep us within that uh, hopeful DRS train for the rest of this race now. That's what I'm hoping anyway. You know, we showed very, very good pace at the start last time. So hopefully we can do something similar here. And he's already having a look round the outside of Kevin Magnus, and he is aggressive. He's looking to keep this gap small. And maybe try his look at uh, getting past him very, very shortly. What tyres has everybody gone on to? So yeah, they, every, pretty much everybody in the field has changed tyres now the mediums or the other hards there are a couple still out there on the soft tyres the frustrating thing is Nico Hulkenberg has just dropped out of that one second window briefly but yeah I think you know, you do lose a lot of time through the pits here, so sort of makes sense for us to try and prolong these stints a little bit. Yeah, you can see they're already battling up ahead and we're already dropping off the back of that. Let's uh, just zoom it through a little bit and see if we can somehow get back within a, a second. Oh, it looks like we have done with uh, Pierre Gasly. Now, Gasly has a mechanical fault, of course, so we should actually be able to overtake him here. don't quite know how we didn't have DRS there. We were within a second. Yeah, let's uh, keep zooming that through. Let's be on 
Neutral there. Yeah, Hulkenberg now a couple of seconds behind uh, Gasly. Looks like they've maybe mitigated the uh, the fault there. So now, yeah, Pierre Gasly, even worse mechanical fault, so really should be starting to close in on him now. But alas, we are not. Uh, let's try and get those tyres back down to temp. running hot as well so just gonna try and bring that back down to temperature I think management of, of your car is, is going to be crucial throughout the, the race yeah we're 7 seconds off now But at any moment there could be a red flag, there could be a safety car. And that brings us right back into it. And uh, as you can see, I mean, we do look after our tyres a lot better. I think that the AI are being very, very aggressive on their tyres and that, that could pose opportunities. Um, and Joe's got a mechanical fault now. been in the pits Magnussen as well so I'm now going to really try and be aggressive stay with Kevin Magnussen you ready? Go with Now there's been an issue in the pits. That's oh, okay, Zhou Guan Yu has uh, had an issue in his pit stop. I think Oli Behrman is now ahead of him. Which is good. So. So we're just about at halfway distance here. We'll come into the pits next lap. We'll pop on some uh, brand new soft tyres. But at least, you know, we're not miles and miles behind uh, the rest of the pack here. That's a big positive. So here we come then. Nico Hulkenberg into the pit lane. And let's uh, watch our first pit stop of the day. As our hard work in training paid off, are we going to get a slightly quicker pit stop here? Let's see. That's decent, 2.7. We'll settle for that for now. They are away. Oh, we have a yellow flag. Now what has happened here? So Sergeant is locked up. 23 left to go, 23. Um. So yeah, looking at that, I mean, Pierre Gasly has got an awful fault to his car. Yeah. Behrman, don't fight team, mate. I'm gonna tell him to... Copy that. I'm gonna tell him to uh, avoid high-risk curbs as well. 
and see if that prolongs his tire life nicely. Hulkenberg should just be making his way past Oli Behrman here, and he does exactly that. Now let's have a little look at the last lap times. Oli Behrman struggling. Yeah, that's whether Ollie can keep going till the end of the race on those hard tyres. Cut out a couple of pit stops and make up 40 seconds of of race time on the other guys out there I mean, let's see he's going to come round now what sort of time is he putting in Nico Hulkenberg mm, so 137.1 so he's not even quicker than the other guys around him and that is a bit of a problem be perfectly honest you know we're on fairly new soft tires we should be making that impact right come through now and he did almost get back past Pierre Gasly there but different strategies everybody aren't they and then Nico Hulkenberg with the DRS and we know Gasly's got to come in into the pits again we we have to as well Ooh. An incident there. well here we come out of the final corner can Nico Hulkenberg get past Pierre Gasly it looks like he will do And they're going to fly around the outside. And there you go. So well played, Nico Hulkenberg. He is through. Let's see if we can get more than a second ahead of Pierre Gasly. Copy. Looks like uh, I, I think Nico, I think uh, Gasly may well end up out of the race. Come the end of it. Let's see, he's, he's pulled away a little bit in that first sector. Twelve seconds behind Gasly. If he can stay within twenty seconds, then it means he wouldn't. Uh, well, he would finish ahead of him come the end of the, the race if he doesn't pit again. There you go, Nico Hulkenberg actually managed to get more than a second ahead of Gasly there, which is good. That's the best we've uh, looked in the first two races some good pace there what about the tires, everything is good. and obviously you know we've got bad temperatures but i'm quite satisfied at the pace that we're showing here two green sectors there gonna come up the line this is going to be our personal best lap of the race i think up to the line we go and so 136.1, that's that's pretty decent. Knock on in the pit lane. It's come out just ahead of us. So that's all looking nice. Um Behrman has obviously now been lapped, so we're gonna push Behrman's fuel a little bit. see what we can do now I'm expecting the um, Gasly to get back past Hulkenberg but it's not necessarily you know done and dusted Hulkenberg starting to get into his uh, pit window here Oh, he was a couple of seconds ahead of uh, Gasly. I think the traffic is helping us out a little bit here. And we are ahead of Zhou Guan Yu as well. Let's have a little look at uh, tyres. So we go Gasly through. I mean, we're, we're very much in a ding-dong battle with him. 
There's still 12 laps to go here. Gonna be aggressive for the next few laps. Once we've fully dropped off from Hulkenberg, uh, from Gasly, we are gonna come in. And we do have a couple of sets of tyres that we can use and hopefully be aggressive on. That's the plan anyway. So we drop back behind Joe Guan Yu. Now they're going to have awful tyres come the end of the race. We know that. Look at their tyres now. They're already 50 odd percent. They are going to drop off like a stone. We are going to have reasonably nice tyres to put on now. And we're away in 2.6 seconds. That's quite nice. And into the top six on the fastest pit stop. That is what we're talking about, everybody. Very, very good stuff. Right. Now, Hulkenberg is a lap down. Virtual safety car. Is that red flag? Yeah, red flag. And that is a shame because now we can't use our tyre advantage and oh that was a nasty crash between the Mercedes and the Aston Martin and I think they're both out okay right well what it does mean at the very least is I suppose we can put on um, another set of soft tyres for Hulkenberg and for Ollie Behrman brand new soft tyres and we are going to finish, um, well, 18th and 19th at the very least in this race. Have taken their again. Now, I have no idea more, what tyres people have available. Lights out, away, away we, go. we go, once again, for the third time. Copy. And Hulkenberg desperately trying to get round the outside. Uh, we are going to be attacking all the way to the checkered flag now. What's amazing is we're now on the lead lap. Let's just have a quick look at tyres here. What tyres? Well, yeah, people have got some new ones. Some people have got the same as us. So, yeah, everybody is in the same boat. It's just can we get some overtakes done here? And I'm hoping that we can. I'm really hoping that we can. I think I think we've been a bit unlucky there with the, the, the timing of that uh, red flag. You know, I had to come a couple of laps earlier. We would have already been ahead of these guys. But already Nico Hulkenberg is having a little look at Joel Guan Yu. This could be a huge overtake at this stage of the race. But now he can't quite manage it. But once again, we're nice and close. And there's yellow flags. There's yellow flags again. Somebody's crashed. I think it's, it's is it going to be another red flag? Oh, we've had a crash. I don't know what's happened. Let's have a little look. It's Lewis Hamilton this time. So George Russell had an incident. And Lewis Hamilton came down the inside. And, well, that's a... That's not a good... Um, a good incident for, I presume, Daniel Ricciardo, who was right up at the top. No, it was uh, Nico, uh, sorry, Yuki Tsunoda. But now here we go. Nico Hulkenberg is going to have a little look. Is he going to go down the inside? No, not quite. And Ollie Behrman's getting involved as well. And Ollie Behrman almost got past his teammate there. Now we need to uh, put. Don't fight teammate to bed here Hamilton gets a five second penalty he hasn't had to come into the pits though just yet right Copy. so Hamilton has got um, Copy. some da uh, some a penalty uh, Sonora has got some damage 
Pierre Gasly has still got his fault. Behrman um, was was going to overtake Hulkenberg and then backed out of it because we don't uh, we have Don Fight teammate on there, which is a shame. But here we go. We we're, we're going again with uh, Nico Hulkenberg. DRS. on show and you can see we are we are quicker than Joe Guan Yu and we're gonna head round the outside that's very very well played from Nico Hulkenberg and now it's just a case of can we stay ahead of Joe Guan Yu he's gonna have DRS down this straight now um, well, trying to stay ahead and Hulkenberg manages it for now that's good right okay now it's time to, to try and push on get back towards the Alpines I'm not sure that's uh, that's gonna happen here oh, look at the tires yeah. Bayman's in a, a good position with tires here we are absolutely going to be going for it for these final five laps. There goes Joe Guan Yu down the inside. The racing on this game is awesome. The drivers take much bigger risks. <laughs> Look at that. Kevin Magnussen now up into 12th place. He was somebody that we were fighting very, very hard with early on in this race. It's, uh, it's what could have been, really. Wait a minute. Yeah, no... ERS left, here comes Hulkenberg once again, he's going to go down the inside of Joe Guan Yu. This is good, this is very, very good that these two are, are going to be battling all the way at the checkered flag, I think. So let's uh, zoom it forward. A couple of laps. Yeah, Behrman is, uh, is somebody that can make an overtake here, I think, on Joe as well. Hulkenberg is through, but annoyingly for Hulkenberg. He's not going to have DRS on the straight. Now, can Hulkenberg stay ahead of Joe Guan Yu? He's going to go a bit deeper into turn one, but yeah, can't manage that right now. So we've got uh, three laps to go here. Say we are absolutely attacking. We're going at it, hammer and tongs. Let's try and pull this off. We'll zoom it forward a little bit here. We're going to have DRS. Well, this is surely going to be a chance for Hulkenberg and Behrman to get through. DRS open. That's going to be Hulkenberg. Surely getting through. With three laps to go. He's going to go down the inside here. Oh, and Behrman trying it as well. Looks like Joe Guan Yu is coming back at Hulkenberg. Who is going to bulk first? I mean, Hulkenberg's on the inside. I think he's going to be fine. He does stay ahead. Well played, Nico Hulkenberg. Right now, can Behrman get past Joe Guan Yu as well here this is uh, race crucial really we're going to deploy the ERS yep. and then try the same with Hulkenberg to try and keep him ahead of Joe Guan Yu if we can now Behrman is close Gonna pull him on a high aggression overtakes. And look at this, he's coming from a long, long way back. This is so close. This is so close. Is he gonna try it down the inside? Not yet. Not yet. And well, Joe Guan Yu has managed to go close to Nico Hulkenberg again now. This is absolutely crazy. 
Hulkenberg goes defensive. Gonna go on always defend as well. See if we can defend this position. Tries it round the outside. Joe Guanyu is still there. I mean, they are side by side. Behrman desperately trying to stay close here. But Hulkenberg stays ahead for now. We're on the penultimate lap of this race. Final lap for Max Verstappen fighting Sergio Perez in his battle at the front. Nico Hulkenberg staying ahead of Joe Guan Yu. Looks like Behrman has dropped off now, so it's going to be a straight fight between these two drivers. Hulkenberg defending well there. Now he's got no ERS left. Zhou Guan Yu desperately trying to get in front and has succeeded. You do your best. And I think. I think Zhou Guan Yu is going to do it. So it's going to be last lap heartbreak again. In terms of us finishing ahead of any of the drivers on pure race pace, and Kolkenberg's tyres have just gone. I mean, we, we were very, very aggressive in this final stint to, to really try and uh, pull it off. But yeah, his tyres have fallen off a cliff now. And that is a real shame. Because we were able to compete with a Sauber. We were competing with a, an Alpina at one point as well. We just need everything to go right in a race weekend for this to, to work out for us. Now, we could have a late overtake here for Oli Behrman, who does Over have better tyres, obviously had brand new tyres in the bank. And he's now going to have a look at Nico Hulkenberg. I'm hoping that there's not going to be an incident between the two, but Behrman flies down the inside. And he is ahead now of Nico Hulkenberg. They are using the very last bits of this car to try and pull it off. Hulkenberg goes back down the inside. It's going to be a drag race up to the line. Let's see who comes out on top. DRS is open for Oli Behrman, but it's going to be Nico Hulkenberg who reaches the checkered flag first and secures our best ever race finish of 18th and uh, 19th there but that was fun that was a real fun grand prix we had genuine chance to finish Nico ahead of some of the other guys with there what can only be described as a disastrous outing it's been a very frustrating day for them and they lead without any point that's not the sort of performance we'd expect to see really and no doubt the Stappen fans will be celebrating the dutchman's achievement That gives them their first win of the season, and it was really well deserved. And finally now the drivers can relax after an eventful weekend at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Very good. Very, very Mercury. good. How do you think they'll be feeling in the team garage at the end of that? Well, it was a bit of a mixed bag here. Some things went their way, but others didn't. I think their main target now will be finding some consistency for sure. So there you have it then. Okay, uh, then. Really big thank you to <laughs> fun race. Really enjoyed it. I think, here in Jeddah. I think the strategy the worked a lot round, better Formula this time. One is heading down under. Exciting times ahead in Australia on the shores of the Albert Park Lake. Now, what, what you could say is, you know, we we had two red flags to, to help us along the way, but I actually think, in, in many ways, the red flags hindered our potential. 
at uh, at this Grand Prix because Hulkenberg was going to have awesome tyres in that final stint and uh, you know people's tyres were already on 40% with 10 laps to go they were going to be absolutely dead come the end of the Grand Prix and Hulkenberg would have been coming at them um, I think that would have been even more exciting than, than what we've just witnessed there um, but anyway hey we finish 18th in the end and, and that's good it means both of our drivers move up in the championship and in the constructors you know we will uh, start to, to push towards uh, some of the other uh, teams but we've got to take our opportunities when they come uh, lovely to have the sixth best uh, pit stop of the weekend meaning that we get eight points in the championship for fastest pit stop that is is really what we want to see ollie behrman didn't even come through the pits today he did his two tire changes uh, during red flag periods but uh yeah happy with that we get four hundred and forty five thousand pounds in the bank uh, ready for uh, next time and there you have it we have got one more race in this little mini series can we put it all together we know how to run the strategy now a little bit better we know the ai are massively aggressive on their tires so just go for it um, and we have got uh, design complete for our underfloor so we are going to have our very first upgrade on the car next time out will that move our team forward and will we perhaps be able to compete with the likes of Sauber, with the likes of Haas, with the likes of Alpine, and try and get Nico Hulkenberg through to Q2? I think that is going to be really interesting next time out. Of course, we will try another livery as well and uh, have a look at some of the other new features. Let me know down in the comment section, is there anything specific you guys want me to have a look at in tomorrow's episode uh, where we have our final uh, race with GBF1 Mercedes. After that, we will then push on and uh, do one of the licensed teams and uh, see how it has changed. If you are, you know, obviously not a creator team, you're looking at, uh, you know, starting with Ferrari or, or, or McLaren or Mercedes, and we'll try and have a little bit of fun with all of that. See how running at the front of the race um, sort of affects the the, the, the gameplay if you like and competing for those race victories um and then there is a race replay mode i think i can play the japanese grand prix i can uh, replay that we'll have a look at that uh, i've got this game until uh, next thursday so um and then after that uh, i'll have to wait for the full release but uh yeah i do want to you know explore the game a little bit for you guys do let me know what you want to see and, and what you want to hear my thoughts of but uh the game in general really like the the step forward i think the uh, the racing is uh, fantastic um i think the strategy obviously needs a little bit of fine tuning the ai are very very aggressive on that uh, strategy so far but of course we're you know just having a little bit of fun with this we're not playing it particularly seriously yet because this isn't our final uh playthrough um, but do let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow for a final episode with GBF1 Mercedes. If you have enjoyed this one, then give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.